All right, let's talk about those titles today. Writing titles for your songs. I've never had a problem writing titles. Um, I constantly uh, come up with titles. When I write songs, uh, I usually write very linear from top to bottom. So I start with a title, do a verse, a pre-chorus, uh, skip to the chorus if I don't need a pre-chorus, another verse, toss a bridge in there. Uh, but I write from top to bottom, so I usually start with a title. And uh, starting with a title is a great way to do it because uh, usually the hook of your song is in that title uh, and you can find it in the chorus. Not always, but uh, that's, you know, for sure um, a great way to really set your song in motion uh, is to start with a title. I've started with a chorus. I've, I've had a chorus come to me or a verse and uh, no title and I work on the song but it drives me nuts. I have to get that title. It's just what I have to do. Um, so I usually start with a title. Uh, you know, if you've been writing songs a while, maybe you don't have problems writing titles. This video is not for you if you're new and you have trouble coming up with great titles. Um, you know, let's talk about some ideas. Uh, when you, you know, craft a title, uh, you want it to really say something about your song. Uh, you know, give people an idea what they're in for. Uh, you can use double entendres, wordplay, humor. Um, uh, Rob Thomas from Matchbox 20 likes to do a lot of one word titles. Uh, that works for him. Um, something you'll see in a lot of my songs, uh, like nothing ever changes, everything stays the same nothing ever changes uh, is the title and then in parentheses everything stays the same both of those uh, could be standalone titles they both say basically the same thing and, and I wrote it like that and I've done that uh, on, on a few songs uh, to really just reinforce um, the theme of the song or what you're what you're aiming for uh, again, though, you know, there's so many things you can do with a title. Man, keep a notebook handy and write titles down all the time, even if you don't use them. Uh, an example of a great title is the Bob Seger song, Night Moves. One of my favorite songs, great song. Uh, he uses that title. First of all, it's intriguing, Night Moves. Uh, we've heard the song so long that uh, we really don't you know think much about it but if you think about it night moves it's a great title and um, he uses that title two ways in the song uh, basically the song is just one giant metaphor for um, uh, seasons and the changing of the seasons as it relates to your life uh, you know and he talks about um, in the beginning uh, out in the back seat of my 60 Chevy working on mysteries without any clues working on the night moves or working on our night moves uh, here he's talking about night moves as uh, the moves you make after dark you know fumbling around in the back seat uh, those are your night moves um, the mysteries without any clues obviously uh, pointing to to the mysteries of sex and not having a clue what you're doing and you know just being young so th so he talks about working on the night moves uh, as those moves you make after dark later on uh, as he uh, starts getting into the uh, autumn of his life so to speak uh, the narrator of the song uh, night moves takes on a different meaning woke last night to the sound of thunder how far off I sat and wondered started humming a song from 1962 ain't it funny how the night moves when you just don't seem to have as much to lose strange how the night moves here he's using night moves in a different way he's talking about the silence of the night or the the moments in the night when you reflect on your life uh, the the first line there I woke last night to the sound of thunder how far off I sat and wondered I think thunder is a metaphor for his the narrator's impending 
death, all of our, in, you know, it's the mortality that we all face. And I think thunder represents the end of his life. I woke last night to the sound of thunder. How far off I sat and wondered. Is he wondering how long before the end of his life? Um, but he's listening to the night and reflecting on his life. Ain't it funny how the night moves when you just don't seem to have as much to lose? So he's using night moves uh, two different ways in that song. It's a great title. Um, you know, those are the kind of titles we strive for. Uh, really integrate the title into the song and make it work. So, uh, yeah, start writing your own titles, man. Keep them handy. Keep them in a notebook. Uh, check out Night Moves. Killer Bob Seger album uh, and a great song. Um, just listen to it and think about that title and how it plays with the song. Uh, subscribe to the channel, man, if you like what I'm talking about. Uh, come on back for more, like the video, rock on.